Howdy, y'all. Welcome to Hexen. I mean, Crony Cross. I'm Gaming Wolf Plays, and we're playing. <laughs> I can't keep this face up anymore. No more Crony Cross forever. I mean, Crony Trigger. That's good, too. Or maybe I can play this mod for Hexen called The Wrath of Cronies. That's a long way for a joke there, Mr. Gaming Wolf. You ever think of a punchline? No. We're in the fighter zone, which means more of these guys. Brains versus brawn. Who will win? It hits me. Doesn't matter. So like, spoiler alert, I always win. <laughs> like, ever watch him let's play and be like, oh man, he's going to Get a, get, like and never win. Who does that? Who tries to put up their LPs without knowing that they might not be able to beat the whole game first? Oh, everyone else in the whole freaking world apparently. Well, those people. Those people who don't understand that they can't just predict how a game's gonna go just because it's going good for like 80% of the time. And then the other, like, 20, or like, 95% of the time that you know, Romac or the other 5% of the time that he's like, Oh, hello! Surprise Kaiser last level! It's not the first time it's happened to me. Where everything seems sane till the very last level. It's like, haha, I hope you have this thing. Like, some of them do that! Like, they have a sane difficulty and then, like, at the last possible moment, they just go straight up like a cliff. I've seen some shit in my time, and I don't know if it's enough lime with the lemon, sir. Care for a little cheese with that wine? Oh, shit. Oh, what a nice death animation. So satisfying. <laughs> well, now he just died in the normal last way, but I like it when their shit goes flying. That's so much better. It's weird how the fighter has a password system. It's just to tell you that being a fighter doesn't make you stupid. It just makes you powerful. Muscular, Powerful. Powerful. Magnificent. Beyonce. Infinity and Beyonce. How the Buzz Lightyear movie should have ended. I don't know. Everyone watches how that movie should have ended. They're just like, wait, why would I do that? I guess I wouldn't have done that. Dun, dun, dun. I wonder how that one thing is going. Or someone made a thing called I'm a Marvel and I'm a DC or something. With action figures. And then I end up having like an arc of some sort. And I was like, whoa. Continuity. There's always like these really well run channels that I don't know anything about. It's a lot like cities on Earth. There's a lot of popular places on Earth that I don't actually know about. <laughs> Same thing with YouTube channels. Surprise! Because you got internet famous. It's like being famous. Except not. No, it's just. They're as famous as like the population of a city. It happens, okay? I kind of like how H-E-B is not popular outside of Texas because people don't even know what's a thing. That, that's a, that's, that's what I mean by having a sort of popular and not popular. It just means you've got your own crowd and that's kind of what I'm looking for. Of course, if I wanted to give like an affectionate nickname, just go either. But then it'd be like, oh, that would just... You don't want to be in that situation where it's like, Oh yeah, is that bigger like the Alpha Wolf? It's like, that's not even what that's supposed to be. Like, that's a... That's a deconstruction. Now Wolf said to act in captivity, actually. Because you were trying to study them. You should have been just looking in their natural environment. It turns out, many wolf packs are actually, like, extended families. It turns out. Until the young dudes, you know, strike out, and that's how they end up being alone for a bit, and then just have their own family, you know, I mean, 
We could probably be adopted. We could probably adopt one of those or something. That's kind of like how I'd see my followers as people I've adopted. That sounds kind of cute, actually. Let me adopt you! You get to a point where you're in a good enough relationship, now you're in the state where you're just like, I'm just gonna adopt everyone I see that looks mildly interesting. And you're being adopted! And you're getting adopted! It's like, yeah. That's how I feel towards other people who are autistic. I'm like, I'm gonna adopt you! You shall join my clan of people. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Just anybody. Anyone who's mildly like, um, endearing. Just like, oh man. You know, people like act like, you know, if, if there's someone that like seems mildly endearing, it's like, oh man, that's cringe. Meanwhile, I'm like, I'm gonna adopt you. I don't know if that makes me mad. It's like, oh man, he needs to be approved. I must adopt him. He must be adopted. He should learn of my ways. Oh, they're gaming wolf. Had zero sons. He was gonna change that at some point. Ugh. This is way too wholesome. I need to be edgier! Edge, 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 edge. Oh, they can call me the Edge Lord when I'm hanging on nothing but Edge of my seat! I think I like the term edgy when it applies to 90s cheese. That works a lot better. It's just like, I'll murder you all! You know, that kind of stuff. You don't really mean it. It's just kind of like... Top. Ham. And there is 90s cheese, believe it or not. It's like 60s cheese, but more blood. <laughs> Violence. Basically, you know? People are desensitized to violence, it's because they or if, if there's a situation in which you should be desensitized to violence, it's to not be afraid of it. Not to encourage you to take part of it, but to realize that it happens. You know? To not be surprised by it, to be understanding of it, to not let it control your life. That's what it means to be desensitized to violence. The right the right way! Ding! There's always gonna be someone attacking another person. We wouldn't have video games based on such things otherwise. Now would we? Of course too. That's the other thing too, is like, yeah, I need to work out my violent tendencies in a video game and never act at all in the real world. Where it's just like, well, I never would have thought of this violence at first. But it's just like, it's a game. Baby, it's not real. Baby, this is the fight. Baby, he's got those quick nightmare portals at the side, and, uh, wow! Wow. Um, press F to pay respects. That was... That was pathetic. Wow! Uh... That might have been the easiest thing that's happened right now. He didn't even get a chance to throw anything. Incredible. I just put do that, that proves to me that the Blood Scourge does the most damage out of all these legendary weapon things. As long as you aim it, as long as you're good at aiming it, it does the most damage. Even though the rate for which I've said is more reliable. So, yeah. Insane power! If you direct it correctly, that is how you play mage. Precision pays all. Do I really want these discs for my compact disc collection? I feel sorry for shoveler compilation enthusiasts when I don't really want to do that. I have decided. I have enough crap to do in the world. I know, it feels bad, it's just like, Man, I need him to read stuff daily so we can- No, man, let me work on my shit. The it's done what it's done attitude. It's like, yeah, I think about it a lot, because it's like, I don't know if I make more stuff, that means I get more. It's like, that's the wrong reason. That is the wrong reason! Plus, like, this compilation disc, man, uh, you know, the quality control is so low that you might not even know if that shit even works, first of all. Never mind to see if it's even possible to do, or just 
Yeah. Like, if you thought Doom could look boring, grab a random level from the archives made by some guy in, like, 95 and be like, Oh, wow, look, it's his house. <laughs> he made his house in Doom, wow. I admit that's kind of fun to do, because not everyone did that. <laughs> Anyone of a certain age that liked Doom did that, where they recreate their house or their office. Or, or, um, their school, apparently. Uh, never mind. Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy my time playing Hexen? I play Hexen so you don't have to! Which is a far cry from saying it sucks, because not to me, though. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Well, actually, no, not really. But, like, once I got over the, uh, where I was kind of going and the sort of, uh, respawning of enemies. Yeah, it's not bad. It, the difficulty is balanced just right, actually. <laughs> Sans the death traps, but that's a given in any kind of game like this for Dolph. <laughs> 